What up, NFT fam? Let's see what the news is today. Uh, someone copy-pasted my Mori, which made me feel kind of weird. Um, there was a great Mori space today. It's held every day by NFT junks. And we were talking about ideas to um, make the Mori space better or the, you know, just the Mori, you know, um, project and breeding was brought. And I was like, no, 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 no breeding. Like, I think a children's book would be great. I've never seen an NFT children's book and something like if the sales of the children's book go back to the community, something like that, where we could all, um, like maybe royalty sales, something like that or royalty project. I don't know how that works legally, but it's just an idea. Um, anyway, guess what? I sold two pieces today. Oh my God. I'm so happy because literally I was starting to feel like hopeless. Like maybe that <laughs> there's no hope for me. You know, like when you get really in your head and you're like, fuck, I feel like you're interrupting me. He's doing a squeaky toy. And these are actually <laughs> the ones from what the hell? Hold on a second. Okay. The ones that are 0 0.01 are actually the ones that I created in March when I was in the space very early. So that's kind of cool. Like literally I couldn't, I couldn't even figure out how to change the price back up. Like I put it at like one ETH or something and then I lowered it to like really tiny. And then I was like, oh, I could just raise the price back up again. No, you cannot. So those were one of the things that frustrated me about the NFT space and being confused and like it's just so funny now because I see what the mistake was so anyway so that's kind of the story behind those um you know and the style was still there of like the plants doing things that people are doing like in this one this plant is in a museum looking at other plants kind of like how people <laughs> look at pa paintings of other people so that was cool and I think my sale happened because the person who uh, hold on, let me take this chew toy away from this boy. I'm not trying to ruin your fun, but I'm trying to make a video out. He's pissed at me now. So, um, what was I saying? So every single day now, which I'm so happy about, which is what I wanted originally, 137 p.m. holds a space where they introduce the community to a new, like not a new artist, but an artist that's been in the community that has a good following, that has like sales and all this stuff. <clears throat> and today they introduced Skullvers. Uh, I think it's Skullverse NFT. Skullverse? Yeah, Skullverse NFT. So that was the speaker today. Super great energy, like really amazing story. And so I got to ask a question and I was like, yeah, like, you know, how, like, I have a community, but how do I, how do I get people? Like, sometimes people think like the key is a big community, but it doesn't necessarily mean sales. So how do you, translate that into sales and basically the best advice that I heard from him was like knock on he said that his like mentor told him this like knock on all the doors until your knuckles become white basically it's like just do not stop share yourself with other people and eventually it'll happen so I think one route in the nft space is Basically, you know, people make the mint page and the 10K project and it's all generative and whatever. But when you're a one of one artist and for my project, I'm a one of one artist whose goal is to make 10,000 pieces in my collection. So it's kind of like the combination of a profile, the 10K profile picture and being a one of one artist. So I'm combining those two together because it's really fucking hard to make to come up with 10,000 individual ideas and especially how long it takes right so he was just like just don't don't stop knock on every single door like go go and message every single person on twitter basically share who you are and let them know what you're about and i was like oh that's awesome so i i took that away and just by speaking in the space of 1 37 p.m um somebody from there because i noticed that the buyer has a v friends picture they're either from the discord or they're from the, you know, the space and they were listening or they were listening afterwards because it was a recorded space. They bought two of my pieces and I was just like, holla fucking Luya, thank you so much. Like it literally uplifted my day. And just by buying like a new artist piece, you literally make them feel like, holy shit. Like for me, when somebody buys my artwork, it's, I'm one step closer to 
holy shit, I could get the fuck out of this house. I never have to listen to my mom yell at me again. Like shit like that. Just simple pleasure and joy. <laughs> but also while not having to sell my soul to do some shit that I don't want to do, right? That's like what we all want to do. We all want to have that freedom. So I thought it was really, really cool. It made me happy. Um, so this was the Maury space where we were talking about. I think Lucas Bean is on the team. So it was kind of like uh, Crypto Maury's with a member of the team. Yeah, Maury's team. And then I jumped into this. I met a guy. Um, he is part of Rockin' Reptiles where he's trying to make like a music NFT space and like help um, people people like new upcoming artists. So he made a space today giving away his uh, Gary V books, 12 and a half. So if you're interested in that, just... Uh, you could click here and find his profile. And then this is from Nifty Gateway. Congratulations to Marat Pop, who achieved the largest ever art sale by a living creator with The Merge. The entire team at Nifty Gateway is honored to have worked with you on this and incredibly proud of what you have achieved. So to today is December 5th. Tomorrow is the day when it's going to come out on my Nifty Gateway profile. So I'm excited to see that. Desperate Ape Wives has another big sale today. Um, another another one. Um, this was the Claylings Advent Calendar Day 5. So all we're supposed to do is retweet it. So I did that. Super cute. <laughs> um, I could not figure out the Skullverse NFT. Like every time in the Discord, like every time I said hi or anything, like all of a sudden it said this message could not be delivered. I've never experienced that in any Discord. So if anybody knows how to help me with that, please do. Um, I saw this and I thought it was interesting. All contracts should be optimized for lower gas fees for mints going forward. So somehow Alpha Girl Club and Crypto Coven, they created lower gas fees for a mint, which I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was possible. So if you have any questions about that, ask them. Um, I thought this was really cute with the, what is this called from the bomb? I don't know, but I love how they made it into a hair. It's so cute and feminine. I didn't even know that Adam Bomb Squad had female like pieces. Like that makes me interested all of a sudden. So Reese Witherspoon got one and it looks so cute. <laughs> so I love it. Um, this I thought was interesting. Punk's floor, 66 ETH, Ape's floor, 52 ETH. We may be witnessing history soon. Because Board Ape Yacht Club has so much utility and Punk's doesn't really, it's kind of like, but it has that inherent value because it was like one of the first big projects. But Board Ape Yacht Club is getting close to that floor. And if you remember from my video yesterday that there was that, I forget, he's some celebrity guy who was asking which one is better. So interesting what's going to happen with that. This was another Desperate Ape Wives sale. Huge bunch of sales for like $1 million in 24 hours. So that was cool. Um, what's this? This was day five of um, 25 days. You know, I've been saying Pope, but it's POAP. <laughs> so, oh my God. Somebody corrected me, thankfully, in a, in a Twitter space. <laughs> I've been saying Pope, <laughs> but it's POAP. Okay, there's another one, I think, coming tomorrow. I got to check their, their page and see what's going on and, and retweet it. I don't know if they've mentioned anything. Let me go check quickly. 25 days of POAP. Um, I can't remember. These are all the retweets of the one that we got today. I don't see anything for tomorrow. So that means that maybe it'll be a Discord thing. I would rather know, but I don't know at this point. But my guess might be that it's a discord thing um which means it will it will have to be like to, it will have to be messaged to the discord po app bot which is a different way than from the app um i saw this desperate ape wives has been featured on nasdaq um i saw this which was funny it's it's another doodle derivative but this is called dick dudes <laughs> nft um Announcing Dick Dudes, the cutest penis NFT project ever seen, coming to a blockchain near you. Very cute. Um, define merge two words. So I guess these become one. I don't know how this project works, but it's very um, mysterious, which kind of 
it makes creates excitement for whoever owns it but I don't know what's going on but it's kind of interesting uh, right like we are we paid like what is art right like why do we go to an art show or theater or something it's like we want to feel different like I said before and this is making me feel like mysterious and unknown and um curious and excited so lots of different feelings with this one I thought this was cool what is the best nft community crypto mori's definitely for sure um I got my victory royale in fortnite so I posted it that's for my fortnite crew um, this was another one to all the accounts using the tsunami Mori to harvest engagement from the Crypto Moris for Mori. Let's show them once and for all who has the strongest community, Crypto Moris. <laughs> so funny. Desperate Ape Wives has launched its own music label, which is kind of cool. Another big sale for them. Um, let's actually see what the floor is for them. The Desperate Ape Wives. The floor was one ETH earlier. Oh my God, I'm really kicking myself because I saw these at point three. I feel like I have missed out on so many good projects like Doodles I saw at point three, Ape Wives I saw at point three. What's the other one? Wavelength I wanted to mint, but then I couldn't. Like, ugh, it's so hard. Um, They've been featured on Forbes. Uh, I thought this was cool. The Crypto Dad Lawnmower Racing Game, which I showed you in another video, is going to be next level. Um, and also they're going to pick up some sandbox uh, land next week, which is... Remember um, Crypto Dads? It's a very strong community. Crypto Dads. Like today when we were talking in the, in the space... Um, first of all, they have 8,000 unique owners out of a 10K project. Unfortunately, the floor has dropped a lot since they since they dropped Crypto Moms. And when we were talking in the space today about what happens to projects when derivatives or not derivatives, but what happens when airdrops happen, is that the fl I've always seen this, the floor starts to drop. But at the same time, it's like, how do you create an airdrop that has value to the community the only airdrop that i've seen is that's good is like well there are some others but the one that sticks out in my mind is the gary v creatures collab because it kind of gave like value to both i don't maybe like both um both projects are very special so when you combine them and make it a rare thing like now it's a rare thing it's not just like adding more stuff to a thing, to a project. Like if it's 10K project and now it's another 10K project, now it's 20K pieces versus like, hey, we did a collab with like XYZ. We're both special and there's only like a hundred of those. So it creates more hype for that second thing. You know what I mean? But I love the crypto dads. I really want them to succeed. I'm sad that the floor has dropped so much. But anyway, um, after my three hour space yesterday with the crypto mores, I just felt so much better because, you know, we're all kind of stuck at home pandemic, like no friends, no dating, no nothing. And it's just like I said, socialization is so helpful for mental health. Like, even though I wasn't around anyone, I still felt like, oh, shit, like I just like communicated with people like that's something that we really need as people is to be heard, to be seen to be valued, to be in a community. Like, I think a lot of times we underestimate how much we need that. And I think actually that's part of the appeal of NFT projects is the community aspect because we've been alone for so fucking long. And literally now it's kind of like, hey, do you want to be in a special club? <laughs> and we're all like, yes, please. <laughs> we're so fucking lonely. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, we were so close to a uh, 0.5 Maury's floor. Let's see actually where we are right now in terms of that. Crypto Mori's 3.7. Um, so earlier today we were at a 0.4 floor and I started noticing that um, I think some of like King Mori who has a lot of them actually, like a lot. I started noticing that the floor, um, wait, that a lot of the floor pieces were basically from a whale, um, like here. 
And then I was looking at the price of like, when were these bought? So these were bought at 3.3 and they're being sold for 3.7. I don't know how much profit that is. Maybe it's like 200 and it becomes like a thousand. So I thought that was interesting. But earlier today, we were at a 0.4 floor. And I noticed that a lot of people are like picking and choosing the mores that they want, like buying more expensive ones. And to me as a mori, I think getting our floor price up is will make the project more valuable. That's my mind. Um, so I'm looking forward to a higher floor, but I don't know how we're going to get there. But the fact that it's holding is nice for me as a mori. Um, and I only have one, so... Um, what's this? Famori, can we get an age check? So most of the people in Famori's is between 21 and 30 or 31 and 40. Um, this was really cute. Outer Lumen, she's a new member of the Crypto Mori's and she found this one. She really liked it because it was very clean. I love the hard eyes. So she's a new community member. So please show some love. And I think that's it for now. Um, so if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, like this video um, and subscribe and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night.